The thing about programming is there's almost always a better way to do something. So even when I thought I was doing something right, I always found a different and better way to do that. And it happens every time I'm working on a project. Oh, I could just use window.addEventListener to listen for a DOM event. Nope, use the host listener decorator. Oh wow, I can create my own custom Angular components that uses bootstrap classes. Nope, just use ng bootstrap. Oh wow, I can make a cool little Angular directive that binds an input to a variable. Nope, ng model. There's always something better. But I'll tell you what, the one thing that will never change is my use of Stack Overflow. There's definitely not a better way to find solutions to your coding problems. Hold on one second. What's that? What do you mean there's a better way? What's ChatGPT? Hey everyone, I'm an Angular developer and since the very beginning, I've been writing my Angular apps very wrong. But I've always found a better way to do things and I'd say my Angular code is pretty close to around 80% correct now. So here's the thing. I'm gonna show you the worst ways to write Angular code based on my experience and then show you a better way to do it. With my luck, there's probably a better way to do that too. So yeah. Oh, and if you like these types of videos, make sure to leave a like and comment if you have any other bad practices when writing Angular apps. All right, let's see what the prompt says. Print out hello world using a variable. That should be easy. I'll just make a span with an ID message in the HTML, make a variable called hello world in the ng on init method, use the select query function to get the span and set the inner text to the hello world variable. This is totally the right way to do this. Okay, print out hello world. Okay, let's make the field component class called hello world. Make a span in the template and use double curly braces to interpolate the message in the span. And done. All right, now I just have to handle this key event and... I don't know what's next. All right, now I just have to handle this key event. I'll set the event type to key event, and would you look at that, IntelliSense at work. I love TypeScript. Let's make a sign up form. All right, form tag, inputs for email, password, and confirm password. Bind each input to some data using ng-model. Oh, and little alerts for validation. Now I just have to add validation. Let me use the pattern attribute, and now, What's the regular expression for emails? Oh. Let's make a sign up form. All right, import the reactive forms module into our Angular app, create the form group and the form controls with their initial values, make the form in the template and set the form group to the form group we created, add the inputs and set their form control names to their respective form control, and great. Now validation for the email field. How do I format this date? Guess I'll just make a date formatter function. How do I format this date? Oh yeah. Okay, I need to make a REST API request to my local host. All right, I'm gonna need Axios. REST API request to my local host, huh? HTTP client it is. Okay, great, I made a service. Now time to have my component use it. Okay, great, I made a service. Now time to inject it into my component. Angular handles the rest and there's not tight coupling of classes. Wow, what a great feature. Okay, I gotta take in some text for this input and send it back out somehow. Guess I'll just update the object when I click the button. Oh wait, I'll just use two-way data binding. Just make an event emitter that has the same name as the input variable, but add change to the end of it. Then when I press this button, I'll just emit the value of the input. Wow, that was easy. All right, custom button. Now I needed to have text. I'll just use an input variable called text and use that as the button text. 
This custom button needs text. NG content it is. And I could just put the text here like a normal button. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it's just so, so funny. Okay. Well, that's about all I've got right now. Let me know if you got any tips to make bad angular code better in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss another one of these videos. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Peace out. Da -da 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 -da